Hey YouTube, this is Dan at Zombie Nation. I was watching some uh, YTPC videos today. Uh, the last one I just watched was from Edward Hobbs. It's quite a little story about him, Tunnel Take. I don't have a story, but it inspired something out of me. But first of all, <clears throat> I've got my custom built, sorry, blank there for a second, and in it some Colt Blood Red Moon. I've talked before about thinking about the history of pipes and things like that. But this little story is about people who are a little left to center. Me and a few other people believe in being prepared for electrical outages, snowstorms. I've got a little extra food, generator, a couple things. In fact, I'm really into that kind of stuff. I've probably got several months worth of food. Quite a bit of uh, other things stored up. But lived in Alaska for a while. You know, one t at one certain time, it was, I believe, either December or January. It was a cold winter. And the power went out. Everybody in the neighborhood freaked out. They're all trying to find hotel rooms, other things to do, other places to stay. The only power that was out was on base there. It was out for three days. Had a couple people come over because I knew I was prepared for some situations. I sparked up the old generator, kept the refrigerator going put some plastic sheeting up in a basement room downstairs, put a heater in there. It vented a little bit, of course, but that way all the heat would stay in a nice little room. Took a lot of the refrigerated stuff. I wasn't sure if it'd last long enough. And I took it, carved out a little hole in the snow, and I put the refrigerated stuff in the snow bank. Had plenty of food. We cooked it on the grill outside. Came nighttime, which comes early in Alaska in winter. Had flashlights and batteries, a couple oil lamps, cots. So there's a group of us sleeping together in this little area downstairs. It didn't get really warm, but it stayed probably around a little above the freezing mark, maybe 40. Which is definitely a lot more survivable than 10 below. But I have a bunch of sleeping bags. Everybody's warm and comfy. In fact, we went out and helped other people. Other people were staying out in their cars for a while. But some of them weren't real smart and they uh, didn't keep their cars gas tanks filled up so they ran out of gas quick to me a half tank is an empty tank but I helped get some of those people some gas a couple more came over during the night time to get warm over my place after a few days the power came back everybody was very thankful and they left prior to that day that time I used to be the butt of a lot of jokes. What are you afraid? Zombies are coming? Hence the nickname. What, the end of the world coming? Economic collapse? Meteor shower? EMP? What are you afraid of? I said, I'm afraid of nothing. But jokes are always hitting, even at work, until that happened. Nobody was joking anymore. The moral of the story is, nobody likes the redneck until there's redneck things to do. Stay prepared out there. Have fun.